Ponte. First time we're coming on video in the sand silence. <laughs> Look at the flash driver. We've been travelling for five hours. <laughs> in a quarter of a mile, the roundabout, take the third exit and stay on A87. She always interrupts in. Lying down there looking all gorgeous with our new haircut. are not you, Buffs? Have you had a new haircut? I want to spend every holiday in the lead up to it watching my van out the window. There it is. The usual, waiting to go into the garage. It's 20 past nine at night. I'm shattered. Because Xander has had me up all night with his nonsense. I think it's bats that he's done tonight this week. So we're on Tuesday. We see you on Sunday. Who knows? Literally, who knows? We have x rays tomorrow. We also have some family stuff tomorrow. So, we probably shouldn't have booked the tickets to the islands because stuff always goes wrong when we're wanting to go to the islands. We were so sick in no booking the islands that we just thought, fuck it, let's just book it. So we did. And the only way we could get back was a five hour ferry. So we're having to do the Barra to Open ferry, which is a five hour ferry. I don't know if I can do a five hour ferry. I need to top it all off. This is the best bit. This is the thing where I really can't do a five hour ferry and I don't think it's fair for the dogs. I think the SSPCA will be at the other side for us. So Sharon went into Tesco's one day for her lunch and came out with bloody life jackets. Uh, three for the dog, because she wasn't sure about size, and two for us. And she paid about 50 pence each for them by the way, it was a bargain. But she has now decided that the dogs have got to wear their life jackets for the whole ferry crossing. Our whole thought process is that if the boat does sink, they will not give the dogs life jackets and rescue them. I was like, well, we can just take the life jackets in a bag and we've got them on us. So I think she's happy with that. I think that's gonna work. But we are humping about a big rucksack with life jackets on this ferry. Just, just in case. Oh my God. Oh. She, the woman isn't right, honestly. She is not right. It's a moving. Oh, I'm just going on. It is quarter to 12 at night. And I'm going to pick the van up to the garage. <sighs> That's him just finished, but it does sound like he's fixed it all, so that'll be worth it. So the van is back. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> it's pitch black. I'm not going to be able to film, so I'm going to have to use my torch. But it's all fixed. All of these are still a go. Hey guys. Right, I thought I'd filmed um, a wee update about Xander, but I had never just taken a picture of myself. So, update on Xander is that nothing at all showed up in x rays. Everything looked fine. She even said that his bones were great for his age. I don't really know what that means, but according to the vet, his bones are great for his age. He did not enjoy being there though. He was meant to, I wasn't meant to be picking him up to half four at night, and she phoned me at quarter past 11 to go get him. That was him done. 
So he was so anxious that they couldn't even put him in the kennels. They had to take turns each, just sitting in the office with him. Aye, so because he was so anxious, they just took him first. So we got him back about quarter past 11. No further anything. Just keep an eye on him. If it happens again, we'll have to try and take a video of it to let them see. But apart from that, he's all good. So obviously that meant that our holiday was even better because he could run about on the beach. We could find balls again for him. So, 780 quid to get to help. There's nothing wrong with my dog. Telling you, I'm in the wrong profession. I should go back to uni and go and be a vet. Right, enjoy the rest of the video. Hi, just been really stressed. So, and this is all new to us. Um, we've never done the ferries. We've never been over the island. So we've never had the dogs in a ferry. There's a lot of firsts and a lot of ifs. I think it go one way or the other. Right. <laughs> I don't know if we'll get fears of boat, it's going no, to be sitting boats. We are feeling better now, aren't we? Maybe. I'm getting there. And the big part of it for me as well was the fact that we just had a new shock absorber put in the van and I hadn't really driven it, do you know what I mean? But the van is running sweet as. The van's the only one that's all happy and excited about the trip. The two dogs will be sound asleep up the back. Maybe try and film somewhere. Aye, we will start filming in a wee while. <laughs> After have a nap. Aye, I think we're even to get to the ferry terminal quite quick so we can go for a nap. Right, see you there. Anyone, we've not killed each other yet, and we're, we're not in the boat yet though. You see the wee van over there, first in the queue and lane number six. Right, guys, we've made it. We have made it to the ferry, I'll show you. There it is. There's they going back now. The dogs are a bit wired, but I think it's a big, heavy travelling day to day. Five hours. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Just get out now. Eh? Yeah. Just get out now. That's us. Is that we're on the boat? About to leave. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. So, we've not filmed much because they were a bit of a handful at first. But we have calmed down now. 
Well, we've done it, we're getting off the boat! Yeah, well done dogs! Well done guys, you are so good! Yeah, we're hoping to now be half an hour away, hopefully for a wee park up. Where is your phone actually? That what you're about to do. We've got off the boat and we are in use, we've done it baby, we're in Hebrides! Mid North East on A87. Still 17 minutes. Off a try, isn't it? I was so organised, I've not got any idea really, we've got one place to try. <laughs> it's been the last thing we've had to think, to think about, but isn't it? <laughs> we were staying the night. It's if something like that is important, you've got a million other things to stress about the day. Eh? Look, that's us guys, that's us off the boat. Hey! This is 